Hello, um, I've had a couple requests uh, to talk about the revisions we've made to our GR Lite. Um, so first and foremost, they used to come with helper springs. They're gone. I'm not doing those anymore. Too confusing. Just, yeah, they're gone. Uh, so what we did was instead of having the helper, we now have longer main springs. Um, so this is a rear. Uh, one thing we've changed is on the top, it now has a rubber bushing instead of the spherical bearing, so it's going to be a lot quieter. Um, like I said, it's got a longer spring here, longer main, um, and then the other big change is no more adjustable lower mount. So it's, it's a fixed position height assembly. Um, you just set your ride height by adding preload. So this, this collar here, as you spin it, it puts pressure on the spring going upward going to keep it from compressing more or it counters the natural sag that a spring is going to have gives you your height back so that's the big change here uh, the reason we did the lower mount um, as a fixed position shock was we found that there was a lot of fitment issues with aftermarket lower control arms so if you have uh, rally tech lower control arms the old ones wouldn't fit you'd have to actually grind down at the bottom because it was just a, a wider diameter base so this is 52 millimeters all the way down, fits the Riley Tech lower control arm perfectly. On the rear, um, not a lot's changed. Um, just the helper springs are gone. Um, one thing we did here, I'm gonna move this and I'll show you. On the bottom of the lower mount, it's got three braces. Um, it's got a brace at the top and then a brace at the bottom. Just makes these hubs just super strong. Um, this is obviously a light duty off-road coilover just for lifting and just going out on trails and having some fun. Uh, it's not really a rally spec suspension, but uh, we still gave it strength because if we can make it a better product, why wouldn't we? Um, that's the only real change up front. Still has your camber plate. Um, one thing I want to go over with you is setting these up. When you get them out of the box, um, generally, it's got a yellow band on it because the assemblies are long, uh, don't really fit in the box that well, so we have to compress them down. To do that, we have to take preload off, so this spring usually has a gap of about this much. So you have to adjust the, the spring collar um, and just move it up and get this tight. You don't want it to be overly tight, like as you can see here, I can move it because it's loose, but it doesn't go up and down. That's zero preload. So keep it there. What you want to do when you get this installed, loosen this ring and then you'll actually rotate the entire body. This will stay in its place and you'll spin the entire assembly. And as you do that, it's gonna start coming out of here. So I'll loosen this up like that. And then as you spin it, you can actually see it starting to create a gap at the bottom. And what that's doing is it's actually lengthening this whole assembly. So that's where you're gonna get your lift. All you're gonna do with preload is, depending on the springs you have, if you have a light spring, it's gonna compress a little bit easier. You're just gonna just give it maybe an inch of preload just to get some of your bump travel back. But again, you don't wanna be forcing this spring all the way up or else when you take a tire off the ground, it, it's not gonna articulate. You wanna have some motion. So um, do spring preload as a last resort. If this body height mount doesn't get you enough, get another inch out of this, but that's it. Don't, don't go for any more than that. Um, other than that, we have a, a setup guide on the site. It's under our technicals tab. Um, and then of course you can always call us. We're more than happy to help you get, get your suspension dialed in. Um, but that's it. So I just wanted to go over a little bit of the new GR lights and um, hope to see your order. Thanks a lot.